G'day folks, LJ Esquire here in Hoya Hin, Thailand. I've just moved down here to live. I've spent the good part of the last five years living up in Chiang Mai in the north and I've often come down here for holidays and got a lot of great memories down here in Hoya Hin. So I thought why not come down here and live right on the beach. I've just scored a, a room here about 100 meters walk from the beach. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's uh, very quiet. Not many people out on this beach. It's a home to a lot of a lot of retirees. A lot of Western retirees live out here. A lot of golf courses here. Come here to play golf and enjoy the slow life. Yeah, but I'm chuffed to be here. Look at this beautiful ocean here. I've been coming down here every morning and a bit of meditation, a bit of soaking in the water. I just really wanted to um, come down here and focus a lot on my health and my well-being with all the chaos and craziness that's going on in the world with this virus at the moment. Time to chill out and just enjoy the, uh, the simple things in life. Yeah, so I'll take you up to my uh, crib, give you a little tour of my, my beach crib. I was, um, I lobbed here a, a few days ago and I, I didn't have anything booked. I don't like to pre-book things, especially if it's going to be long term. I want to go in there and see what the energy's like, see what the feeling's like. So I just arrived and walked around, scouted out a few places. Didn't, took me a while to find something that uh, took my fancy. And I'd almost given up to be honest and I was uh, just walking along the main road up there and I seen a sign daily monthly and I thought it's too close to the beach what are the chances of of me being able to afford that or that being in my budget um, I started walking away and I thought now nah, stuff it give him a call just just to see what the price is and um, sure enough the chap chap that answered the phone I said 7,000 baht a month. I thought, geez, that sounds all right. That close to the beach, I'm gonna go and have a geese. So, yeah, I went down there and uh, actually talked him down to 6,000 a month. Got a ripper deal. So it's just down this uh, little soy here. We just walk 100 meters down here. We're at my place. I just step out my front door, no shoes, no shirt, straight into the ocean. And man, it's just, I've been thinking I should have done this a long time ago. It's really being near the beaches. It's a good motivator. It's a good inspiration. Come down here, go running. All the gyms are closed at the moment, as you probably know. Everything's closed. So the town is very quiet. And, of course, my lovely Tita will be arriving here in a few days. And uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's, pack she's packing up in Chiang Mai and um, we're, uh, we've got plans to uh, sort of future plans. Things are getting a little, a little more serious with the Esquire and Tita. Very happy about that, I'm very excited about that. And uh, I'm sure we'll be bringing you guys a lot of um, fun videos from down here. There's a lot of uh, coastline to explore here. We're very close to Bangkok as well. We can make city adventures. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Have any of you guys been to Hoi Hin before? What are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. Here we are, this is my place here. Little beach, uh, one right there. So there's a few rooms in this building. Only three of them are occupied. So it's pretty quiet, it's very quiet. It's just a good vibe. Take me in. Have a look. Nice and quiet, and peaceful. Chill in the hammock in the sunshine. Relax in the hammock. Sabai, sabai. Bit of a uh, bit of a downstairs communal space. Kitchen here. Communal kitchen. When I say communal, I mean there's not many people here, so 
I hardly see anyone else. There's a, a lady on the top floor and she's very friendly and another Thai couple in there. I got my bicycle here. I shipped my bicycle down from Chiang Mai. So I've got some wheels. All right, take you upstairs. Up onto the first floor. Nice little place to chill out. I sit down here and eat my meals some evenings. And here we are. Esquire's new crib. Stepping in the front door here. Bit of uh, Esquire junk around. I've just shipped 10 boxes down from Chiang Mai, all my stuff. I sell a lot of stuff online. I get a lot of messages from you guys. What, what do I do out here to make coin? Well, I, um, I've got a lot of products. I sell them, I make them here, and I sell them online. That's one thing I do. Uh, and all my personal stuff as well, so yeah. Shipping company was quick, only took me a couple of days. So this is the crib. A couple of beds. Refrigerator. Fridge is loaded with lots of uh, delicious fruits there, little mangoes and shit. Nice little bathroom here. Bit of, uh, bit of 80s soft porn on the wall. Nice touch. Yeah. Nice blue toilet. So this is the crib. Got an air conditioner as well for those hot nights. Very cosy indeed. Yeah, like I said, Tita's going to be arriving soon. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, looking forward to making a lot of content around this area. We're close to Bangkok as well, so many trips to Bangkok, I'm sure. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my new home. And I'll be updating you again in a few days with uh, some more things. Stay safe, stay well out there. Say good day in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.